Today I want to discuss a fascinating topic that can greatly impact your fitness progress, something called anabolic resistance. Now have you ever found yourself working out, consuming an adequate amount of protein, and still not seeing the results that you would expect? Well, you're not alone. Hello everyone, I'm Nick Venuti, I'm an exercise physiologist, personal chef, and the proud owner of The Healthy Yinzer. In today's video, we're gonna be diving deep into anabolic resistance and exploring how it can affect you, your muscle growth, and your overall fitness journey. Now, muscle protein synthesis is a term you've likely heard if you're into fitness, but what exactly does it mean? Well, muscle protein synthesis is the process by which your body builds new proteins to repair and strengthen your muscles. Imagine you're trying to build a brick wall. The bricks are the proteins and the process of laying those bricks to construct the wall is muscle protein synthesis. Now this process is a crucial part of muscle growth and repair. Every time you work out, especially with resistance training, you cause micro tears in your muscles. It is muscle protein synthesis that helps repair these muscles to help you get stronger and larger over time. Now let's introduce a plot twist anabolic resistance. Anabolic resistance is a condition where your body's muscle protein synthesis response to extra protein and resisted exercise is blunted. So picture this, you're laying bricks to build that wall, but suddenly you find that your bricks aren't sticking together as well as they should. That's anabolic resistance. The process of building and repairing the muscle is also hampered. So despite consuming protein, working out, and efficiently turning that protein into muscle, it becomes very less effective, and it's like your muscles are resisting the anabolic or building effect of exercise. Now, this could significantly impact your fitness progress, and it's something we're gonna dive a little bit more deeply in this video. Now, let's address a common point of confusion, the paradox of your smart scale reading high muscle mass, but low protein and low body mass. Now, you see, Muscle mass and lean body mass are not the same thing. When your scale shows a high muscle mass, it is measuring muscles from all types. Your skeletal muscles, which are your voluntary muscles you use for movement, as well as your smooth muscles found in your organs and the cardiac muscles found in your heart. Now, lean body mass, on the other hand, includes not only these muscles, but also the weight of the organs, the skin, the bones, and essentially all body parts, excluding fat. Now, protein is an integral part of this equation because it is the building blocks of muscle. It is needed for repairing the muscles after a workout. When we consume our protein, our body breaks it down into amino acids, which builds and repairs the tissue, and this process is called muscle protein synthesis. But where anabolic resistance throws a wrench into the works, your body becomes less efficient at using the protein you consume for muscle protein synthesis. So even if you're consuming an adequate amount of protein, your body may not be utilizing it effectively to build or maintain your muscle mass. And this could result in a high overall muscle mass reading, but lower protein and lower lean body mass because of the insufficient protein synthesis. So paradoxically, you could have a scale showing high muscle mass, but low protein and low body mass. It is one of the ways that anabolic resistance can manifest and it highlights the importance of understanding these readings and what they actually mean for you and your fitness journey. Let's dive into a real life example. Meet Robert, he's a 55 year old former athlete client of mine. He had been overweight for some time. His routine was a bit imbalanced and he worked out diligently three times a week, but he also indulged in alcohol on the weekends. Now, over time, despite his consistent workouts, he noticed a worrying trend. His muscle growth had stalled and his weight was steady fast, refusing to drop. Now, Robert came to me for help and one of the first things we did was we did a deep dive into his stats using one of those smart scales, which provided us some striking insight. The scale showed that Robert had a high overall muscle mass, but surprisingly low protein and low skeletal muscle mass. And his fat percentage was a little high. So these confusing stats were symptomatic of a bigger underlining issue, anabolic resistance. Now, despite taking in protein and exercising, his body was ineffectively utilizing the protein for growth and repair. Now, his weekend drinking habits was another factor contributing to the imbalance as alcohol can negatively 
impact protein synthesis, but we have discovered that the invisible roadblock that was preventing Robert from his progress was he was anabolic resistant. His body wasn't effectively responding to protein intake or his workouts, and that's why he was stuck in this, basically this plateau. But with some supplementation, um, leucine to be exact, we were able to jumpstart this whole process over again, where the pounds started coming off and he was building strength and muscle. Let's dig a little deeper to another client of mine, Lisa. She's a 25 year old fitness enthusiast. She was pushing her limits every day in the gym. Uh, she designed a high intensity workout regimen and was meticulous about meeting her daily protein goals. She wanted to build muscle, she wanted to tone her body, and she wanted to lose some weight, just like all of us. But despite all of her sweat and discipline, the results were not forthcoming. Now, her weight had hardly budged on the scale, and her muscles just didn't seem to be showing the growth and tone that she expected. It felt like her efforts were just being stonewalled, and she really just couldn't understand why. So seeking help, Lisa came to me. We did a thorough review of her diet, her workout routine, and other lifestyle factors. And we found out that there was really no reason why she shouldn't be uh, making these gains. Prize in conclusion, Lisa was probably experiencing some sort of anabolic resistance. And we started changing her diet around. We started adding in one and a half grams of protein to kilogram of body weight. We um, integrated more leucine rich foods in her meals and guess what? Things started to change. Within a few weeks, Lisa was noticing improvements. She could start to see cuts in her core and her weight was actually coming off. Her workouts felt more productive and everything just started to click for her. So what leads to this scenario where your body is resisting the anabolic effects of protein and exercise? The first and perhaps the most recognized cause is aging. As we age, our bodies naturally become more resistant to the anabolic stimulus from protein intake and exercise. This is a primary reason why it becomes harder to maintain muscle mass as we get older. But age isn't the only factor. Poor nutrition, especially insufficient protein intake, can also lead to anabolic resistance. Your muscles need protein to repair and grow. If they're not getting enough of it, they won't be able to maintain their mass and strength. And that's why physical inactivity is another major cause of this. Muscles rely on a use it or lose it basis. And without resistance training, they become more resistant to get the benefits from exercise and diet. Now, lastly, Health conditions such as type 2 diabetes and obesity have also been attributed to anabolic resistance. And this is because they have chronic inflammation in the body, which impairs the muscle protein synthesis. Now, it's important to remember that this, just, this isn't just for adults and older adults. If you have poor nutrition, inactivity, or poor health conditions, it can happen to you. Now that we know what anabolic resistance is and what causes it, the question remains, how can we combat it? Thankfully, there are several strategies that you can use that can help. First, you gotta ensure that you're consuming an adequate amount of protein. Now, adequate is a term that may vary from person to person based on your various age, weight, and activity level, but a general guideline is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. Body weight. For active individuals, it might be a little bit higher. Now, let's talk about leucine. Leucine is a branch chain amino acid that plays a critical role in initiating muscle protein synthesis. If you consume foods that are high in leucine, you're gonna be one step higher than the rest of us. If you do take leucine, it is one of the nine essential amino acids. This means that you have to get it from outside of your body. And so whenever you consume leucine, it triggers a series of biochemical reactions that result in the activation of a protein called mTOR. mTOR plays a critical role in regulating cell growth. And in our context, it's what simulates muscle protein synthesis. You have leucine in every single meal. It's definitely gonna help boost your muscle protein synthesis. And both our, in both of our case studies, um, Rob and Lisa, whenever we started supplementing leucine into their diet, really broke through pl their plateaus. So. 
Where are you going to find this? Dairy products, red meat, poultry, fish being particular good sources, um, eggs, soy protein, and even some grains and nuts can give you. If you're struggling with this, you can use a supplement online, find something that is high quality, and discuss with a healthcare professional before you start anything. I don't, don't get your advice just from me. I'm just highlighting what's going on here. In short, leucine is a unique and critical player in overcoming anabolic resistance and unlocking muscle growth, whether through diet supplementation, ideally through a combination of both, but make sure you're getting enough leucine and that could be a significant step to overcoming your anabolic resistance. Now, regular exercise, high intensity interval exercise can also help you overcome this. Really, if you're pushing your body to failure, your body has no choice but to adapt to it. This is a multifaceted approach. It's not about just one single factor. It's the combination of diet, exercise, and lifestyle that will help you overcome this hurdle and progress on your fitness journey. To summarize, anabolic resistance is a condition where our body's muscle protein synthesis is impaired, meaning we're not making the most of the protein we consume for muscle growth and repair. This could be a key factor when you're working out consistently, eating right, but not seeing the results that you would expect. Remember our case studies, Rob and Lisa, they both faced different manifestations of anabolic resistance, but both understanding the condition and implementing the right strategies, they managed to break through their fitness plateaus. And this isn't about just gaining more muscle or you know losing weight. It's really about taking control of your health and living a better life, you know? So I hope this video has been helpful. Remember, the key to anything in life is a multifaceted approach. And remember, you're not alone in this journey, you know? Reach out if you need support. I have a great virtual training program and I'm always accepting new clients. So um, let's continue the conversation in the comments or, you know, message me if you want to schedule a uh, appointment. There's a link in the description below. It's a cal Calendly link. Um, yeah, and we'll schedule a time to meet and I'll see you in the next video.